graffiti, street art, public art. Everyone knows it by sight, but few can describe or define it. The Durango Art Center, located in rural southwest Colorado, recently took advantage of a unique opportunity to explore this art form. Open Art Surgery came to us through one of our member artists, Deborah Greenblatt, and she's been uh, very involved locally with the public art movement. Having grown up in New York City and seen a lot of public art and been around when the graffiti on the subways was happening, I've always loved the immediacy of public art and the fact that people from all walks of life can see stuff that's just out there on the walls and it's just sort of a little gift. Deborah planted the seed with Mary Puller, our exhibits director, that wouldn't it be great if the Art Center for the first time in their history could be a supporter for a public art exhibit, be it graffiti or however you view public art. And Mary Puller really loved the idea. My involvement with the Art Center has been for 20 years and although it encompasses the community, I felt it was missing the segment of young adults that were, had a lot to say artistically but didn't really have a venue to do it in that the regular public could come see. And we all agreed, yes, we're an art center. We should do different things. We should be creative. I was contacted by Deborah Greenblatt out um, in the community. She was interested in getting a graffiti art show going um, mm -hmm. just because she had seen um, some spray paint cans when I uh, volunteered to show up and help out paint some dumpsters. And next thing I know, I find myself in the works of designing um, a Durango Art Center uh, show. So it's been a couple months in the planning and uh, a lot of work, but initially it started between me and Deborah. We just, we wanted to create this conversation. It was, it needed to happen. She found me and I found other artists that this might appeal to, that they might use or are, are inspired by certain elements of, of this, this culture. Collaboratively, it initially was very difficult because we had to kind of create this vision to figure out the flow, to figure out where people are going to walk and how are they going to see the show. And then we could really start to think about uh, where artists are going to be positioned. One huge part about this uh, was the DAC was, was generous enough to take a chance and let us use aerosol inside this building. I know sometimes our building has graffiti tags on it and I really wanted to understand how is this different? And it was very different. I was really struck by the talent of the artists and their thoughtfulness. In the artistic world, it's really easy to get a heady experience and get some ego involved. These young people were so removed from that. It wasn't about the ego, it was about the heart. And creating all of this, kind of like as you would see a symphony perform. But there was no conductor, they were all conducting together. And that's what I loved about the whole process, is the collaboration, the working together, putting your ego aside, and creating what I thought was some masterful art. Uh, street art. I like street art a lot because of its impermanence. You know, nothing's gonna last, I think. And like, it's a constant reminder of that when you're giving away paintings or painting on the street where you know you're never gonna see it again. You put all this time and effort and energy into it, then it's gone. I, I think it's just like a really great lesson. It was the first exhibit that reminded me of a theater opening where people were lined up before the doors opened. And so many young people were saying, I never have been in this place before. I just didn't think it was a place for me. And now I realize that you're receptive to working with all types of artists. Well, this is important for us because we want to be vast. We want to be cutting edge. We want to bring every kind of person to the Art Center. And that's what this exhibit did.